I've been uh, playing around with the subdivision experiment today, and um, I made it I made it into a tool, so I could just select the group or component, or to, and then you get a, a preview, a quick preview of, of the subdivision is there, and, and in the value control box I can just type in um, a new iteration uh, to see how smooth I want uh, the geometry to be. This little preview before you commit is quite nice because uh, it takes a lot less time to generate this preview than generating the geometry so you save a little bit of time and you need to go back and forth um, I can just I'm just going to hit spacebar and cancel that tool um, what I did here was using this subdivide command I just assigned a, a shortcut to it so I can quickly activate it and, and play around and if I found this iteration I want, I can just type return and it generates um, the geometry. If I turn on hidden geometry, you can see the original one. Which I'm just going to unhide here. And yeah, this, the underlying geometry is triangulated, but if you reiterate this, it, it still treats everything as, as just logical quad uh, mesh. <coughs> to keep the geometry really nice, uh, no matter how many times you subdivide it. Uh, another thing is. I added a peak uh, function which I assigned to another shocker W. And if I just select this mesh here and, and press W and hold it down, as long as I'm holding it down the key, which I'm doing now, um, it, you'll see this little preview mesh which generates a whole lot faster than generating the actual geometry. I can just release it and it pops back up to original shape. Uh, while I'm holding it down, I can still change the iteration values. And um, it is quite nice when you're trying to figure out where and how much um, geometry to add in order to make a smooth surface. For instance, I'm just going to select this and press. And that takes a bit of time because we have two iterations at the moment, and that takes a few seconds. And I'm going to put that down to one. And now it generates a lot quicker. We can see sort of the curve of the wheel uh, here. And I can select, for instance, this back fender and see how that subdivides, how this one subdivides, how the hood sub subdivides, any more control points around there. Um, although I could just I could also just select all of these. I'm gonna call up the menu and I can do repeat last. <clears throat> because then it, it acts on all of my selected groups at the same time. With the same subdivision uh, iterations as, as the last one. And there we go. And just a quick, quick subdivision. I can undo that.